This was a performance from Donald Trump, a hastily put together news conference to regain focus and momentum, to address the issues that have plagued his first four weeks in office, not that he saw any problems. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. President Trump has lost an important court case on his executive order on immigration. His Labour secretary withdrew his nomination and his national security adviser Mike Flynn resigned over contacts with Russia, discussions about sanctions and misleading the vice president. Trump says he didn't do much wrong. I fired him because of what he said to Mike Pence. Very simple. Mike was doing his job. He was calling countries and his counterparts. So it certainly would have been okay with me if he did it. I would have directed him to do it if I thought he wasn't doing it. I didn't direct him, but I would have directed him because that's his job. The president again used the occasion to attack the media. The tone is such hatred. And the leak of sensitive information from his White House. But when asked if the information which was made public was wrong, he had this answer. The leaks are absolutely real. The, the news is fake. Donald Trump has mentioned his electoral victory in every public appearance since his inauguration, claiming it was hugely historic, until told it wasn't. Why should Americans trust you when you accuse the information they receive of being fake when you're providing information? That's well, I don't know. I was given that information. After a difficult first four weeks in the White House, this was Donald Trump going back to something that has brought him success in the past. This was campaigning Donald Trump, criticizing the media, ignoring facts he didn't like, praising his own success. In the news conference, Trump revealed he would be unveiling his new plan for health care early next month, that there would be a new executive order on immigration early next week, and his plans for tax reform were coming together. Thank you very much. Thanks. But this news conference will be remembered for a president airing his anger and frustration, a stunning moment in modern American political history. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.